Good morning students in today's class we are going to see about how when and where Oh important dates are in history In this picture you have seen two picture that is before and after when did people in india start playing cricket during the colonial period now compare these two images in this image that is in before that uniform has become more comfortable and as well as the ground has a defined defined boundary and a pitch cricket is the most popular sport in india we may not know the exact date or year in which people in india started playing cricket but we do know how and why it is evolved in our country when looking at old photographs of the sports we can spot many significant changes in the sport since it is inception here inception means the establishment or starting point of an institution or an activity the sport has attained its present from gradually over time this tells us that cricket as a history of evolution next studying history is not only about memorizing date but also finding out how things have changed evolved over times we can know about changes by comparing the past with the present and being inquisitive about our surrounding inquisitive which means curious next did you notice that while comparing the past with the present we refer to time by using the words before and after in our queries we have asked three types of questions starting with the words such as when the second one is how and the third one is when the when stands for six a date while that beginning with and how stands for it looks for an explanation or a reason and then where stands for ask for the place where a particular incident that happened today historians addresses many other questions related to the past such as how people earned their livelihood how cities developed how kingdoms were formed and how new ideas changed different culture and society seeking the answers to these questions and made the study of history very interesting next we are going to see about which historical dates are important to us the story of an individual life revolves around a set of important dates which remind the individual of some significant events of his or her life however these dates are most likely to be insignificant to other individuals as a special events in their lives are associated with some other dates similarly while writing history we consider dates that are related to a set of crucial events of our study for example the year of 1526 ce is a vital in the political history of Mughals because it is linked with the foundation of Mughal empire in India all other dates are associated with the important battle fought by the Mughal are also considered important therefore an event makes a date important next we are going to see about how different historian peri periodize in their history about james mill according to mill before british come to india hindu and muslim monarchs ruled the subcontinent mill believed that religious intolerance 
caste based discrimination and superstitious practices were largely prevalent in indian society and he held the view that only british rule could civilize india and ensure the enlightenment and happiness of indians to bring about these changes he suggested the introduction of europeans way of conduct and equitous arts institution and law in india many believe that period before the british rule was fully darkness and india began to progress and become civilized only after the arrival of the british ideas such as this cannot be accepted today also any period of history cannot be referred to as in hindu or muslim due to the existence of the variety of faith during the period the religion of the rulers of the particular time cannot determine the classification of various period of history the lives and practices of the old population during a certain period should be considered while drafting history next we are going to see about what are the sources of history of colonial india in this video in this module you will learn to list the sources of information on the modern history of india primary source of information for historians is the official records of the british administration the british believed in keeping written records of every key instruction meeting transaction investigation plan policy decision and agreement all important administrative institutions kept regular records and filed them safely in record rooms specially built for this purpose the british built specialized institutions like museums and archives to preserve important documents historians gathered important information about the provincial administrative system from the reports memos notings and letters preserved in the 19th century in the archives and record rooms across india earlier these records were carefully copied and written beautifully by calligraphists with the spread of printing by the middle of the 19th century administrators started making several copies of important documents they also preserved and circulated these documents for better understanding of the proceedings followed by different government departments for effective administration the british carried out a number of surveys in the early 19th century this helped to understand the topography of a region such as the flora and fauna cropping pattern soil quality and local history of the place by the end of the 19th century censuses of all the indian provinces were being carried out every 10 years this helped to collect information on the region caste and occupation of the people these sources give us an idea about what the officials of a particular time were interested in their thoughts and what they wish to preserve for the future these sources never voice the reasons that led to certain decisions or the feelings of the common people and their actions diaries of personalities like jawaharlal nehru and sardar vallabhbhai patel newspapers like the kesari and amrita bazar patrika popular books like the discovery of india and glimpses of world history autobiographies of important personalities like mahatma gandhi and accounts of travelers and pilgrims give a deep insight into the lives of the common people these sources 
give us the opinions of the literate people. As we know, history is different for different people, and for us, it is a more difficult task to comprehend how the peasants, tribal groups, and the poor illiterate manual workers experienced history. You have now reached the end of the module on Sources for Information on Modern Indian History. The British maintained a record of all important instructions, meetings, transactions, investigations, plans, policies, and decisions. The official records of the British administration are an important source of information for historians. Personal diaries, newspapers, popular books, autobiographies of important personalities, and accounts of travelers and pilgrims form an important source of information about the common people. That for, for today's classes, the assignment is find at least three reliable sources of information on the lives of common people of present-day India. Thank you.